You're all a bunch of fucking <laughs> slaves! Hello everyone. I hope you're well. Good to see you. Just having my uh, morning breakfast here, which is like dates and banana smoothie. Um, where do you get your protein? Get it in dates. Calcium, where do you get your calcium? Dates. Good calcium in dates. Cut the milk. Cut the dairy milk. Bad calcium. Dairy milk, bad calcium. Bad for your bones, bad for your blood. Acidic blood, bad for your bones. Leaches calcium out of your bones to make your blood pH level a bit more balanced. So yeah, cheers. Ah. Oh, that's delicious. So yeah, I'm gonna, gonna talk about sunbeds. Are they safe? Do they cause cancer? Da, 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 da. I personally, this is my own personal opinion, I don't think sunbeds cause cancer. I think you have to work your way up to the strength. Um, it's a bit like um, the sun. You can't just go from no sun and then go and sit in the sun for six hours and expect that to be healthy. You have to kind of, a couple of minutes, then four minutes, then six minutes, then 10 minutes, and then 15 minutes, half an hour, etc. over a period of weeks and months. So do some beds cause cancer? I personally don't think they do. I mean, everyone's got their own opinion. My opinion is that they don't cause cancer. Um, as long as you do it in stages, you know, you just do a couple of minutes, work over a few weeks, work your way up, and then like 10 minutes over a few weeks, you know, and then the summer's here, and then you're kind of ready for the summer. Um, because here, like in the Northern hem Hemisphere, here in the UK, the, the sun just isn't strong enough for um, to get your vitamin D, and without vitamin D, your bones suffer, your health suffers, your metabolism suffers, etc., etc. So like today, it's kind of sunny. It's it's not too bad, but obviously the sun is not strong enough for vitamin D. So, what what do we do in the northern hemisphere? You know, I mean, I've got this um, spray here. Oh, sorry, dog. I just dropped it on the dog's head. Whoops. Sorry, dog. So I use I use this vitamin D spray. I get that from Holland. We got a shop called Holland and Barrett here. It's like a health shop, and you can get this spray, which you just swallow all the water in your tongue and you just like under your tongue a couple of times and hold it on yeah you have to hold it under your tongue for as long as you can the same as this vitamin D, um what's this b12 yeah b12 b12 spray so i use them too just over the winter and uh, i'm going to start doing a little bit of sunbed you know here and there just to get that vitamin d in, into your bones you know and uh yeah. So yeah, thanks for watching and um, I'll see you next vid.